Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the Jelly Belly Taste Test. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is Jelly Bellies and a volunteer. So with the Jelly Belly Taste Test, we're going to find out what you see influences what you taste. There's two different experiments. The first one is going to be when Grace sees and tastes the food. And the second one is Grace is going to close her eyes and only taste the food. Okay, so we're trying number two on here, and so you got it. You can see it this time, and you're gonna be able to taste it and tell us which one it is, right? Yes. Different flavors this time. We're more close. Okay, so give it a shot. The first one is pink something. Grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Question is, will you like it? Good. I don't know. I don't feel like it would taste like grapefruit. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Second one is cotton candy. Yeah, everyone loves cotton candy. This one doesn't stick to your fingers. It doesn't taste like cotton candy. <laughs> it tastes kind of, um, I feel like lime-ish or something. A lime? Well, not lime, but like, kind of like <laughs> All right. not can cotton candy. Okay. This is Red Delicious, number three. I feel like this is going to be a lot harder because they don't really taste like... Okay. Except for the cheese cake. Is really good. And all the rest are going to be harder? Yeah. And here's our second experiment, which tastes only. Grace will have her eyes shut, and guess what she's eating? Um, I'm going to put these in the cup, and it's going to be in a di different order. She's not going to know um, what order I got them. And we have cup one first, and she's going to keep her eyes shut. Close, close your hands so we can't keep your head, tip your head up. Now go ahead and eat it, and then tell me what flavor you think. So now this taste, this test is for you not to have your eyes recognize it, but just your taste buds. Number two. Okay, pop that. One that tastes like lime. Okay. <laughs> lime? There's no lime ones. I know, but the one that tastes like it. I don't know what Jenny said tastes like I think it. the... Um, I think it was like the third one. Okay, that was right delicious. I think you answered that the first time. All right, I'm going to write down lime. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, number three. Picking it up. Okay. Cheesecake. Okay. And the last one, number four. Whoop! So wants to jump. You got a jumper. The last one. <laughs> the last one? Yeah. The last one was cheesecake. Huh. I know. Um, I don't know. This one's harder. The first one or the okay, wait? Uh, uh, grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're a grapefruit. Is that it? Yeah. You let those down. So you got <laughs> um. You missed the first one. Uh uh. That was an X. You got the cheesecake right. Yeah. And you missed this one and got this one right. You got two out of four. Well, at least I didn't get you got one some. out of three. It just shows though your taste buds don't always work, right? Yeah. Um, you have to see when you see something, sometimes it's easier to visualize it. Grace was only able to get two out of four right with her eyes shut, so you don't see the color of the jelly bean. You often give the wrong answer, at least 50% of the time in this test. The senses of sight and taste are technically not related, but they have a strong mental influence on each other. Since Grace couldn't see the color of the jelly bean, the jelly bean doesn't have a strong smell, the taste was the only sense left. Your taste bud cells have a pit on the very defined shape. When the substance of the matching chemical shape comes along, the receptor cell 
then sends the signal to the brain that gives the brain a clue what you're eating. With sighted people, uh, eyes are the first sense that decides whether something looks good enough to eat. Colors are very important. Would you eat a blue burger? Well, food companies add food coloring to make the food look better, although the taste stays the same. People like to see food in colors that they expect. Butter is pale yellow, but people think butter should be bright yellow, so some manufacturers add yellow as the food coloring. Anyway, so... Gonna, oh, you're having an extra one. There you go, still taste testing. <laughs> Best part of this experiment. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Remember to click thumbs up while Grace is gonna test, taste testing still, and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.